Hey guys, it's Desiree. I just got back from an event called Vegan Block Party. Basically, it's like a vegan festival. A lot of vegan businesses come out so you can sample some of their products. You could try a lot of vegan food. You get to hear from a lot of speakers about how to live a vegan lifestyle. So it was a great event. I got to take my mom with me and I hope they do it again next year. This was actually their first time doing this particular event. Now that's enough talking about festivals and let's get down to making some vegan steak and eggs. Mushrooms are a popular choice when it comes to meat substitutes and I'm gonna be using these maitake mushrooms as the steak in this recipe. Maitake mushrooms can be hard to find sometimes. I usually find them in Whole Foods or like the higher end supermarkets. I wanna thank my Copia mushrooms for sending me these mushrooms to make for this recipe. To make the steak, you're gonna cut off the ends of the maitake mushrooms and slice them lengthwise into strips. And if you want, you could cut these further down into smaller pieces. I chose to use maitake mushrooms because of their shape and when you cut them down, they simulate little pieces of steak better than other types of mushrooms. Heat a pan over medium high heat. Add some vegetable broth to the pan. Add the racao to the pan and cook for two minutes. I'll also include a link to the racao I use. Add the mushrooms and some garlic, adobo, vegan Worcestershire sauce, and stir together and cook for 15 minutes. Before you cook the tofu, it is important that you drain the liquid from the tofu block. Crumble the tofu with either a potato masher or a food processor and set it aside. Heat some vegetable broth in a pan over medium high heat. Add the crumbled tofu along with some turmeric, garlic powder, onion powder, dried thyme, black pepper, salt, let it cook for 10 minutes. Add the cooked mushrooms and mix and cook for two more minutes. You can serve the eggs either with the mushrooms mixed in or on the side. And there you have your own plant-based version of steak and eggs. I've included a link to the full recipe in the description below. If you like this video and this recipe, then go ahead and click on that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and also hit that bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.